It's Monday morning in the swim shop. We are, uh, yeah, I know you saw the video we put out that we're gonna start making the kit. So what we're doing now is we're getting the kit. Uh, we don't have a kit. So what we've got to do is we're make we're gonna make a kit with this van as the pattern. And then we are gonna take a uh, van, the frame rails off of the van, like we said, and cut them and put them on, welded on the table. But what we've got, <laughs> what we got to do, we've got to make a kit first with a van so we can bolt the kit to the frame rail so we know exactly where to weld it on the table so we'll have the jig so we're working on that today i don't know how far we'll get uh we got to thinking or i did i got to thinking while the boys were over, gone over the weekend too uh we had somebody send a message about uh diesel and i didn't even think about the diesel motor mount but yeah we've we've got to figure out some way to do uh motor mounts for diesels motor mounts for the v6 if somebody wants one with the v6 because they're different and we're going to start doing some ls stuff too i know uh i'm planning on maybe putting an ls in my van and we're planning on doing a build for a van that we will sell down the road to have an ls so we're going to make an engine kit uh cradle that will work with ls's too so we, we've got to figure all that out and get it all squared away uh i know we've had several people send us messages that are wanting the kits that are asking about them and as soon as we figure out exactly what kind of price we're going to put on them we will let that uh be known i've actually already got several people on the list right now that have already said they want kits so we're going to work hopefully maybe by the end of this week we'll have something uh you know set up so we'll know what kind of price to put on the kits uh i know everybody's worried about them being affordable we I mean, like i said before i don't know what they'll be we are going to make them as affordable as we possibly can to make it worth our while uh, build them. You know, if it's uh, if it's not worth our while to build them on the price that we put out there, then I'm sorry we won't offer the kits anymore. But we we are uh, there's three guys down here in this shop. That's all it is. But it's three guys down here trying to make a living on this stuff. It's not a hobby. We are trying to make a living, but we also understand that uh, it needs to be affordable as possible for people because I've I've been there too. But uh, that's what we're working on and as soon as we have more information on that we'll get it out there but today you'll probably see us just scrambling around uh doing what it takes to put one of these kits together what's happening over here boss man getting the uh this make sure the plasma's good simple oh everything's good right now green's good it's good so when you get into that yellow red combination that's it gets a little wonky. Just, uh, we got all the parts laid out that we use for the kit, for the shackle hangers and all. 
I've been drilling, drilling out a front plate. Uh, you just marked up what we're gonna cut out of this metal here. Yep. For the front plate, and we're just we're we're uh, we're making a kit. We don't have a kit. Everything we made is already on vans. It's been gone. So we're building another kit to uh, work with our jig, and uh, that's just what we're doing. We're gonna cut these pieces out here. These pieces will go up under the uh, mount up under the frame that'll weld to that front plate that Ivan's doing. Then our uh, spring hangers will go on the front of that, and we've got our rear rear shackle mounts that we'll make and we'll put on the on the back so uh yeah that's what we're doing we're just making up a kit with this van for a pattern so we can get the the uh frame rails welded to this so we'll have a uh a jig to go by plate mocked up i'm just uh i'm putting the motor mounts on that we use for a uh, engine cradle that we make these are this is the style of motor mounts we use it's kind of it's the uh i think they're like the used to use on old camaros like 1970 model camaros but the uh the cross uh cradle engine cradle that we use this is the motor mounts that we use so i'm just getting them bolted up there so we can start mocking it up we've cut the uh cut one side of the angle out because when we use uh when we make our engine thing we use it, it it'll look a little i like it's offset really in relation to where the engine uh motor mount is but the reason it is is because we want to use these existing bolts these three bolts are already threaded and we got these bolts here this is where the original subframe on the van was bolted to so it's good sturdy mounting points so we make our mount to utilize those bolt holes so that's the we reason it looks the way it does but it not saying it looks bad it's just it doesn't look everything when you look at it and somebody says well why isn't it this everything's why ain't it in center why ain't that in the middle it's because the way the engine is in relationship to those bolts that we want to use bolt holes have detailed video of all that when, when we do the kit show you how to install the kit what's going on over here bud oh uh, I, you know what <clears throat> i was thinking remember how we was going to my uh mount this vice down yeah, but I kind of like it to not mount it for like light parts stuff. So it's mobile. Yes, yeah, so I can cut stuff and like move it around. You know, for light parts. Yeah, well, you could clamp it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can clamp it to the. Table. I kind of like Ice it anyway. Clamps. But yeah, so we need to get that off of there <clears throat> and puzzle piece it. Uh yeah, and. But I don't think we have to take it completely out. Oh, well. Well, yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah.
fact, I, I think we're going to take it off, cut this out, stick it back up there, then put those pieces in there, maybe tack them in or whatever, and then figure out where our holes we, that we've got to find the location of them, drill them so we can bolt them in, and then to pull it back off and then like it, to get on the back side though yeah, it, I just don't want it it's going to pull it I mean it's 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 going to pull it out of kilter saw because that's what I'm saying it, but it don't I mean I might have to either make something and get it to where it don't do that because I mean I'd like to get a good solid yeah I mean because from now on be, I mean it, it can't However they're done, it can't pull it all out of what because the game gets so critical. I know, it's got to hold. It's got to walk right over I mean, we're, we're already talking about how bad holes are, but we've got to get them mm -hmm. as close as we possibly can. And with the welding, how it's going to pull it, we've got to figure out how it goes. Because to get the outside is no problem. But like you said, it needs to be welded on the inside too. And that's going to It's going to pull it around. I mean, that's all right. I can brush it up. Mm -hmm. Well, once we get the, uh, if we get this one done, then we have the jig. We'll have, it'll be a lot easier to get on the jig. We can kind of touch it out. And then I'll just bring it back up here to the test fit and see, see what the best way to go is. All right. I know I said in the one in the earlier video, one of the reasons we didn't really want to do a DIY kit or a bolt-on kit is because the bolt holes don't line up and it's the differences between band to band. Right here is one of the things I'm talking about. These holes right here, we, we use these three holes. This is where the sway ball was mounted to. And we use these three holes with our kit. Well, what they do, they drill these holes in the factory and then there's a nut a 3 8 nut welded onto the inside. Well, if you look, the holes are right, but this nut's off a little bit from center. This one's off. So those nuts don't get welded in exactly in the same spot. So when you, from van to van, with those little nuts welded inside, from van to van, they they vary a little bit. And that's that's one of the reasons. This one is actually pretty good. We, we've seen some of them that the thing was way, way off. But, but that's one of the reasons uh, that we didn't want to do just a full, say it was a full bolt-on kit because that stuff doesn't, isn't, isn't always going to line up. And here's, same, same with these. These are the three holes that we used at the, uh, the subframes up under the van. So we use those holes too. And they're not, every one of them exactly, isn't exactly perfect. So that's why you might have to massage some of the holes. So I just, while we were making the kit, I just saw that and I just wanted to point that out and show you one of the reasons why we don't, we don't call it a bolt-on kit, it's a DIY kit. These kits, we, we say we, we only do 80, 84 uh, to 95, and the reason, one of the reasons why, uh, let me raise it back up and I'll show you. We use the square body Chevrolet uh, running gear. And I'm not saying any other running gear wouldn't work with it. Uh, the, the square body Chevrolet, the, the spring purses on the front end are like 31 and three quarter from center to center. 
which is almost exactly what these frame horns are on the van. So it, it sits at the front of the springs mount and hit about where the uh, the perches on the differential work. So that's that's why we use the, use those. The older vans, I think it's 83, like 70 to 83. This frame horn over here, for some reason, it was straight here and then it kicked way out and ended up hit here instead of here. Well, when you do that to make your leaf springs work, you, you would have to relocate the perches on the front differential or redo the, uh, the way you do the front mount or use, I think, Fords. I think later model Fords are 38 inches from center to center. It seems like the mid-70s to late 70 Fords, which is our driver's side drop, we use passenger side drop, are like 31 and a three quarters like the Chevrolet. So I would say with one of our kits, if you wanted to use a driver's side drop differential, if you found a, uh, a forward front differential from mid to late 70s, it should work. And another thing that would work is a G J10 truck. J10 trucks are the same as what Chevrolet is. So what you would have to do with a J10, though, their front spring perches are under the axle. You would have to relocate them on top of the axle and put them where they line up with the leaf springs on the kit. Uh, up until 1979, the J10s were passenger side drop. From 1980 up until, uh, I think when they quit making the J10 was around 88, 89 J10 truck, I believe, they were driver side drop. So that would be a uh, an option I think you could use for a front differential. But our, our, our kit are based on uh, Chevrolet square body differential. So when we use, when you use a kit, they, our kit will work perfect with those front differentials. But the reason, now I just wanted to point out the reason why we do 84 to 95 is that. Another thing too on our kit, the front plate, when you get it, if you've got a uh, an 84 to I think 91, you're going to have a front uh, bumper bracket that's like this. It'll be just two holes. Well, we utilize those two holes with the kit. After 91, the front bumper bracket was a, a square plate like like this. It used four holes. So, when you get our kit, if you've got a late, a 90s model, these four holes will line up. The kit will be drilled for those four holes. If you've got a 84 to, I think, a 90, these will be like this. Our kit will have the two holes here. So what you'll do is you'll take a drill and drill through the two holes that we've got and just put uh, bolts on it to bolt that piece across there. But we'll we'll go over that and we'll show that when we do the... Uh, the, I guess you'd say the instructions of how to uh, install the kit when we make the video for that. But, I don't know, we were just uh, down here making up the kit and I just figured, told Seth to grab the camera and let me show you all that.
Well, let me tell you, I think what, what I'm saying is, it needs to go that way. Yeah. Well, look at right here. See this gap right here? Right here? When we tighten that up, I think that's going to pull that whole thing. Okay. Yeah, I was just yeah. trying while you were doing that. No, I, I just think I think that's going to... We got all we got all the bolts in and started in the second back. And I think we got the same thing over here. Okay. So yeah. let's see. End of the day. End of the night. <laughs> yeah, but we got, man, we got a lot done today. We got a, uh, yeah, we got a little bit better on the sh uh, shock design too. We're going to completely move the shocks the way we do them on the front and uh, probably work on that tomorrow. But we, uh, we got a pretty good jump on it today. I feel good about what we did today, don't you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Absolutely. All right. All right we got us another day in the shop. We, uh, what we're planning on doing today, we're pretty close to getting uh, getting it ready for our jig, aren't we? Uh, uh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're we, ready. Yeah, we uh, we've we've made a uh, a kit that uh, will keep. We feel like it's going to keep this thing together for us, so we can make it with a jig. We're not sure. I, I doubt this kit will be a so a sale kit. This is kind of probably one of the kits that'll go on our vans. It's it's uh maybe like what maybe a little prototype. Yeah, this is a prototype kit. design. <laughs> yeah. Uh, prototype kit. So. Yeah. So what we're doing, what we're doing, as you know, we got the table over there. We're going to put the uh, put the jig on. And the jig is actually going to be these frame rails right here. So what we've done is we've made up a kit that will hold all of this together when we cut it out. And we are... Uh, we're gonna sacrifice this van. It's probably gonna make some people mad, but um, this van don't looks. Be a, mad. Don't yeah, don't be mad because this van looks so much better on on the videos than it actually does. It's got a, it's got a lot of problems. It's not a van that's that's would uh, would be worth saving. Honestly, uh, we got it for nearly nothing, and uh, we actually used this van to uh, make the kit i think i said it on my my van timothy this is what what we made the kit off of on that van but we're going to sacrifice this van once we get everything out of it uh but we just wanted to let y'all know so you wouldn't be mad and think we're tearing up a good van it, it's not really a good van it's it's not worth uh it's worth more doing what we're going to do with it than it would be to save it but anyway what we're going to do is we're going to cut all all this frame out so we made this kit to hold everything together when we cut it out, we're probably, uh, we're gonna drop the motor and transmission out of it and we'll put the engine support back in there to tie all this in. Of course, we'll keep the front mount tied in. And I think what we've decided, we're probably gonna come in, uh, yeah, right about here in front of the uh, transmission cross member. So once we get the motor and all out of the way, we'll weld another bar across there to tie it, just to hold it all in together because we don't want it to move when we uh cut it out and then what we uh our plan is once we cut it out we will just flip it flip it over and weld it right down to this table and then that way we'll be able to make our kits off of that and it, it'll it'll make it so much easier because we'll be able to get stuff level it's hard to get the vans level on the uh, lift when we put them on there and to get everything right uh, but with with it being on a jig where we can get look over top of it we'll be able to get stuff so much uh squared up a lot easier than what it was it should make things go a whole lot faster so man we uh we learn something about these vans every day this uh this van here it's an 87 and it's got a turbo 400 in it. But when we just took the drive shaft out, I've never seen, it's got a 27 spline shaft like a turbo 350 or 700R4. I've never seen a turbo 400 with something other than a 32 spline shaft. So, uh, I don't know, it's crazy. I've never seen that before. It may, may be something that's common in vans or whatever. So that's just another thing that you, we, we learn every day about these vans. It's uh, somebody knows anything about that, let me know. 
Uh, we can, we're gonna change the shaft anyway and probably use it in a four wheel drive van. We'll put a four wheel drive output shaft in it, but I've never seen a, uh, a 27 spine turbo 400. It's a new one on me. Because they're usually what? 32. I'm gonna start disconnecting everything from the engine and transmission that way it could uh from the van that way we can drop it out so here we go hey, you like that right there like that right there No, not one. I'm totally cool with it. <laughs> Completely chill. Just yeah. Because of this old red fan sacrifice here, there's going to be a lot of happy people. Hopefully. Hopefully, I said. <laughs> Very well spoken. Very well spoken. I don't know what we're getting into. Oh, no, 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 no. You didn't listen. So you did not listen. You didn't listen either. I, I didn't. So I, I wasn't why? talking. Nah, that's it. Cut this off first. Let's get this piece out of the way because I need to figure, finish marking up in here. So cut across here, cut here, here, and just so we can break this little bottom piece off. I mean, it's pretty You want nice. me to lift that? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. <laughs> well, that's your idea. Don't worry about it. I'll get it. I'll get it. She's secure. Oh yeah, if I can't, if I can't uh, curl, it ain't going to work. Okay. I can curl a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
that if one of us gets here and one of us gets here and somebody raises the lift up off of these and removes that pole. If somebody says a unitized construction ain't strong, you're an idiot. <laughs> you can kick. Cause I'm telling you, we like to never got this out. It is attached under there so good. If you don't believe us, just go wreck one <laughs> real quick. <laughs> yeah. Wear your seatbelt. But now it, it's uh no, I lay all jokes aside. It it it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. Oh man. That was the job. Yeah, what y'all didn't see. Hey, what y'all didn't see probably was it going up and down 15 times and us oh. you going back in there and just wiggle, torching. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Cuss. Yeah. Wiggle, wiggle. Uh, Cuss. I hate to say it, but uh, the it's price of the kits just went up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. So. Man. A lot of trouble for you guys going on. A lot of trouble for you people. We got it though. It's gonna make it is gonna make things so much easier. We're gonna be able to get this welded on here, get it squared up, be able to get a level because we never could. The lift is so kind of uh, wonky. We never can get a vehicle level on there, so it's real hard uh, getting everything right because it's got to be square and level. <laughs> real hard. <laughs> Just this will make it so easy. Just can't get it. Just finger looks away. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a mansion. Let's go. Yeah. I guess we probably need to get the uh, vacuum cleaner and vacuum out the dirt knobbers and whatnot. I guess. <laughs> that hurt. It's going to be a whole Another thing, cleaning this bad boy up. We might have to move Steak Sunday to Steak Wednesday for that. Yeah, that was... It's almost like taking the country what we did. Because I feel that good. <laughs> taking the country over? Yeah, just like with... Ski mask and a pocket knife. I don't know, like... <laughs> just running right in there and just... <laughs> now nah, you're good. You just own it all. What's up? Can we go get water? Can, can we yeah, take a can break? Can we take a break or? Like, <laughs> I just blowed my back out for you guys. <laughs>
Yep. It's uh it's quitting time. We we're getting ready to go eat supper, but we uh we got the uh, it's like, <laughs> yeah. we got the uh uh jig cut out of the van. We've got it just uh pretty much welded on the table pretty good. We're gonna get some more uh weld points on there to make sure it's secure. But what we did is uh, we welded this piece in at the back before we cut it out. We kept our engine cradle that we made still intact and our front plate. So when we cut this out, nothing would move. Every, everything is still exactly the way it was when it was in the van. So what we're doing now is we're welding it to the table. So when we take all these pieces off, it will all stay intact where it was when it was in the van. So we will have all the points to build off of just like it's in the van. So it's going to make it so much easier. We're going to be able to get stuff a lot more accurate because uh, with us being able to weld when we when we mount the uh, spring hangers and the shackle hangers in, we can do X measuring across to, to know 100% that we got everything squared up in the van instead of having to look at it and eyeballing it in while it's in the van up over our head and stuff. So. Uh, it's really, it's gonna make a big difference. We're gonna be able to move a lot faster and stuff's gonna be a lot a lot more accurate, we feel like. So anyway, we feel good. We had a good day today. I think Seth's gonna get y'all a video uh, up. He's gonna go work on that now. Just uh, y'all be sure to like, subscribe, share it, tell everybody. Uh, you know, check out our buddy at OK Recycling, Tim. Tim uh, Seth will put his, uh, information up on the on the website too to show you what all they do he's a sponsor of our channel and we couldn't do a lot of the things that we do without them so just uh check out okay recycling we thank them and thank y'all we appreciate it we're gonna uh get more stuff out go and merch merch we've got some people uh a lot of people are buying merch keep buying the merch we've got to get some more orders because i think you're gonna do some orders tonight that you got to get shipped out so yeah and we're gonna like we've said it over and over we're working on getting more stuff so Y'all just bear with us. We're getting everything in line so we can start rolling this stuff out. And uh, I have a new T-shirt designed for you. Yeah. <laughs> every time Ivan, uh, every time Ivan does something reckless in the shop, it's it it makes for a good T-shirt or a hat or something. So we got some good ideas. It's about time somebody's taking recognition yeah. for my <laughs> lolly dolly crap that comes out of my mouth. It don't make no <laughs> sense, you know. Finally, 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 guys. But anyway, thank y'all. We appreciate it. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And we'll catch you later. I need a new pair of these when I go. Make sure I get a, remind myself to get a new pair of these. <laughs> Yo, what, what are <laughs> these are like, you drive with these, I don't care what kind of sun's out, man. Old lady sun Drive with those, man. You can block out any, get pulled over, sir. You'd be like, yo, man. <laughs> that don't even, you can't even, you don't even know what I look like under these bad boys. That light don't even bother me. <laughs> and no, I will not take them off. I got it, what's up? What's up?